In this video, we will learn how to power up the AllSport 1600 series scoreboard controller. Step one is to plug in the controller. And one thing to notice, this is a GFCI plug, ground fault circuit interrupt. So if we determine later that there's no power to the controller, you may try resetting the plug itself using those buttons. After plugging in the unit, you will see on the bottom right there is a switch for power. So go ahead and power on the unit. You'll hear a couple of beeps. And the first thing we notice, it says previous code 23, enter to resume. It's kind of hard to see that. Okay, and if for whatever reason 23 is the correct code, and the way we know that is if you look at this little template that slides into the controller, it says, it says, um, Baseball is code 3, and it says with clock 23. So that's how we know which code to use. It's a, it's a baseball, or softball in this case, controller with the clock, so it's 23. And if for, for whatever reason this does not say 23 when you first turn on the unit, you can follow the instructions on the controller itself. It says right here, for new game code, press the clear key, select the code, it's a two-digit code, and then press enter. So if, if this does not say 23, the steps would be to clear, hit the clear key, type in 23, and if you look on the bottom right of, of the buttons, you'll see the little numbers. That's how you know it's 23. So type in 23 and then press the enter key right here. The next thing you will see on the display, it's talking about the broadcast and channel. In this case on field 3, it says broadcast 1, channel 3. Um, that's, that's the setting for field 3. Field 1, 2, and 4 will have different broadcast and um, channel settings. So go ahead and it says enter to accept. So go ahead and click the enter key here. If we look back up at the display, you see some uh, settings that you would see during a game. So you see it says B equals 0, S equals 0, that stands for uh, balls and strikes. O is for outs, G is for guess, so that would be guess score, I is for inning, and H is for home score. And at this point we have powered up the controller, we're ready to start using it for the game. Uh, there will be other videos that talk about how to change the time and also how to use some of the buttons to keep score of the game and keep track of the game. Once the game is over, and once the, the softball day is over, and if we want to um, put up these controllers, the, just, just reverse the steps. Just in the back, power, hit the power key to power down the controller, unplug the unit, and package it back up into the case and return to our secured area.